much. Thank you for having we me. We were just having a little chat about the significance yes. of your casting, of your mm. role, mm. and of your name. Yes, yes. I mean, we've heard Piers get a name wrong a little bit earlier <laughs> on the show. Yeah. We don't want to draw too much attention to that. <laughs> right. But when he calls you Michael, he's right, right. absolutely spot on. Yes, that's that's spot on. That is my name. Um, I, what I love, I love all of the political themes that we're exploring in our show and upholding that legacy of universality that Star Trek has always had and furthering it in our own way as well. And so my name being Michael Burnham, and there's a sort of tripart answer to that because the, Brian Fuller and Alex Kurtzman, the uh, creators of the show, uh, decided to uphold one of Brian's sort of stylistic choices of giving his female leads male names. And so there's also a little bit of a religious parallel with the Archangel Michael, but then what I created once it got to me and I had to create a life was that I was named after my biological father who was Michael Burnham, who um, in the story is, 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 was killed when I was very young. So what I love about that is that it is um, very simply, yet uh, sort of profoundly, a political statement of the gender fluidity of the future, where mm. a daughter can be named after her father and perhaps a son I, after okay. his mother. Let me, let me, now let me take you up on that. <laughs> Do yeah. it. You have to gender just, fluidity. You have I'm just a, thrown down a I'm gauntlet. A big, well, yeah. I'm a big supporter of transgender rights. Let's yes. Let me lay that down there now. Yes, of course. I'm very confused and unsettled by gender fluidity. Mm -hmm. People who wake up, and you're the perfect person to talk to because mm -hmm. you raise the spectre of this. Mm -hmm. People who wake up one day and they're, mm -hmm. you know, sinequa, mm -hmm. and the next day they wake up and feel like they're Michael. Mm -hmm. And there are people that now do this. We have policemen in this country, mm -hmm. and one day is a policewoman, yes. next day a policeman. Is this a good thing or is it a rather confusing thing? Oh, goodness. I, I don't think anyone can speak on it in that sort of, in those sort of personal terms because it is such an individual, sensitive, highly personal thing. And everyone has a right to their individual, highly personal things. That's part of being a human being. At least that's the way it should be. Um, so in this case, you know, what I, when I'm speaking of gender fluidity, I'm talking about the gender roles mm. being in a more equal place, mm. being on a more even sort of playing mm. field, if you will. And so we're not paying so much attention to the sort of barriers that separate us from gender. I do, I have a son. Would you like it if your son came back one day and said he's gender fluid and wanted some days to be female, other days to be male? I think that is something we have to deal with now. Would I you think like that it, if I well, I couldn't say that I didn't like it because if that's what he truly believed, mm -hmm. what you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I yeah. have to support that because I love him unconditionally. Mm -hmm. So I have to receive that and I have to accept that and then I have to decide how we move forward together. What do you make of the sexual harassment scandal mm -hmm. that's enveloping not just Hollywood but oh, Westminster yeah. here? A lot of actresses have come out yes. and been... Well, one of the actors on your show, Absolutely. Anthony Rapp. Absolutely, right. how much we love him mm. and how proud we are of him and how proud we are to stand with him because he has truly changed the world yeah. and that's what this does speaking out courageously, making these declarations, these confessions. It's getting it out into the light and it changes the world. And he definitely has. So we, we, you know, we think he's a hero. So. I think I, I, I like to look at this, this time, this crazy time we're in right now um, as a time of enlightenment. I like to see it that way. I like to take a sort of positive and hopeful and faithful point of view about it. And I think that this is a time of enlightenment, of awakening, mm. where all of these things are coming to the light. Everything does come to the light eventually. That's what I truly believe. Mm. And so when things come to the light, then they can be dealt with. Because, of course, first, there has to be an acknowledgement of the problem. And for so long, there's been a denial and a resistance and a covering up of the problem. And so now we're seeing it come to the light in so many ways and so many facets. And now we can deal with it together. You know what that sounds like? What does that sound sounds like? Sounds logical. Yeah. <laughs> See what I did there? Do you fancy, Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you fancy standing for president? Yeah. Uh, I've just got our vote. <laughs> give her You're all the roles. Give her all the roles. That's what I think. Sonequa, how lovely to see you. Yeah. Thank you. And, lovely. Uh,